welcome to MC in Focus, MC Student Produced Broadcast News. I am Justine Cruz. And I'm Maxim Krebchenko. Welcome. On Monday, President Trump signed a revised version of his travel ban on individuals coming from six major Muslim countries. The original order caused protests around the nation's airport and was eventually blocked by a federal appeals court. The new order was unveiled by Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Attorney General Jeff Session, and Homeland Security Secretary John F. Kelly. Today's executive order, which President Trump signed this morning, will make America more secure and address long overdue concerns about the security of our immigration system. The latest order removed Iraq from the list of countries with 90-day travel ban. Residents of the U.S. and visa holders are also exempt from the ban in its newest version. In addition, the indefinite ban on Syrian refugees has been changed to a 120-day freeze requiring review and renewal. Comic Rahman Mostar Favi of Cool Cal Comedy, along with a group of MC student comedians, performed a comedy show to benefit the suffering in Syria. The show title, All for Aleppo, raised almost $2,000 for Doctors Without Borders, the largest single collection of the 11 shows promoting the cause. The comedy show was performed at Montgomery College's Rockville campus and was sponsored by MC Lifesavers, a student life service learning program, Peace and Justice Studies program, and MC Global Nexus program. House Republicans released their long-awaited Obamacare replacement bill. The bill proposes to eliminate the various taxes and penalties tied to the original legislation while still preserving certain patient protections. Majority of Republicans unveiled what they call the American Health Care Act. This new replacement act has coverage for patients with pre-existing conditions, allows children to stay on their parents' health insurance until the age of 26, and allows individuals to buy tax credits. What it doesn't have is insurance across state lines, negotiating the cost of drugs, and lowering the cost of health care. The new bill will continue Obama's expansion of Medicaid to additional low-earning Americans until 2020. After that, states adding Medicaid recipients would no longer receive the additional federal funds the statute has provided. The Supreme Court returned Gavin Grimm's transgender bathroom case back to a lower court without ruling. Grimm, a high school student, had sued the Glucernan County School Board for not allowing him to use the boys' bathroom. He refused to use the girls' bathroom because he identified as a boy. Although Grimm won an appeals court allowing him to use the boys' bathroom, the Supreme Court put a hole last summer before the school year began. With this decision by the court, it is most likely Gavin will graduate before the case can be settled. Wednesday was International Women's Day, and women around the world came together to commemorate it. The theme for the day was Be Bold for Change. Local schools in Prince George's County were closed due to lack of staffing. Prince George's County School Board member Alexander Wallace released a quote saying, I understand the call of the organization's mission. I understand the dire need for that statement to be heard and to the employees that requested personal leave off from Prince George's County Public Schools, the message was heard loud and clear, at least this board member. The University of Maryland professor and school theorist Patricia Hill Collins also spoke to the Montgomery College Tacoma Park campus for International Women's Day. She has written many books about being a black woman in society and feminism. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after these Purdue student commercials. Rockville Town Center, a place where people come to hang out, shop, look around, and enjoy themselves. There are many variety of things to go into, like restaurants, a gym, stores, and they even have a movie theater. Have you visited or even thought about coming out? What are you waiting for? It's a great place to visit and see. Are you lonely on those Friday nights? Need a place to go? I know that Rockville Town Center hosts a lot of events. Are you worried about parking? Worry less. Because the Rockville Town Center has public parking. See you there. Thanks. 
squad and ambulance. Affirmative code D. Again, confirm two fatalities. Hi, I'm Frank Jones. Hope you're enjoying your rainy or snowy morning. I know I'm not. I'm here to deliver this weekend's forecast. Today, we'll be in the high of 43 degrees with a high chance of flurries in the afternoon. Then tonight, mostly clear with the temps in the low 20s. Then Saturday, March 11, 2017, temps will be chilly with a high of 33 degrees. And that night, Saturday night, it will be low of 21. Then Sunday morning, it will be in the high of 36 degrees. Then Sunday night, it will be 22 degrees. I'm Frank Jones, and that was your weekend forecast. Enjoy the rest of your week. U.S. soccer has voted for a new policy that will require players, coaches, and anyone involved with the national teams to stand respectfully during any game of the national anthem. The decision came after Megan Ripino took a knee during the national anthem. The new policy states, all persons representing a federation national team shall stand respectfully during the playing of national anthems. At any event which the federation is represented, the policy does not say if there should be any punishment for anyone who violates it. For more in the world of sports, we'll go to our sports expert, Ashley Keith. Thank you, Maxim. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little basketball. Wednesday night, the Wizards landed another win against the Denver Nuggets, 123 to 113, just 24 hours after defeating the Phoenix Suns, 131 to 127. The Wizards have had an excellent comeback season after four back-to-back -back wins. The Wizards will have another set of back-to-back -back nights playing against the Sacramento Kings tonight and the Portland Trailblazers this Saturday. They will end their five-game road trip on Monday against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, hitting a little closer to home, Tuesday, March 7th, the MC Raptors baseball team defeats Maryland Juco rival nationally ranked Frederick Community College in their fifth win of the season. This win over Frederick Community College stopped their six-game winning streak. The Raptors are 1-0 in the conference and 5-4 and overall. They will travel to Myrtle Beach during spring break where they will be playing five games, seven games, and five days. Good luck to you, Raptors. What would sports be without sportswear? Nike has revealed a first look at their pro hijab for female Muslim athletes. The pull-on hijab is made of light, stretchy fabric with tiny holes for breathability and an elongated back so that it will not come untucked. It is expected to cost $35 and will be available for purchase in the spring of 2018. Thank you, Ashley, for that sports news. Mm -hmm. Student life is a big part of what makes the college experience memorable and the people who make that happen are the Student Senate. Grant Pearson has more on what the Student Senate does for Montgomery College. You have to have a flyer. The Montgomery College Student Senate is at the heart of student life on all three campuses. We spoke to Rockville campus's own Student Senate President, Mona Motamity, about what the Student Senate does for Montgomery College. So the role of the Student Senate is to kind of enhance the student experience. We create student events like our MC's Got Talent show, as well as our fall festival. On here is 301 It's about, um, I guess, advocacy more than anything would be the word I would use. Mona also works with student senators from Germantown and Tacoma Park. Even though our campuses have some different concerns, at the end of the day, we're all Montgomery College students. It is in our benefit to kind of have an idea of what's happening across the college. Each semester, students have the opportunity to apply for the Senate. So the process is pretty simple. You just fill out, uh, there's a whole packet where you get about 200 signatures on current MC students. You do an essay, so it's like an about me type of essay, basically highlighting your own experiences and you know just everything, great achievements that you've had so far. Getting a recommendation from a teacher or any staff here in school that's well known. The Student Senate works hard to provide a welcoming campus for MC's non-traditional students. There are certain needs that need to be addressed uh, with students who are non-traditional and might not have been in school for a while, might not have had the same opportunities in the past that other students who might be coming straight out of high school have. The Student Senate is definitely 
definitely my first step towards achieving my goals. I believe so, at least. Knowing that what students say does carry some weight, um, it has been an eye-opening experience, and I think that's what ultimately drove me to the Senate. The Montgomery College Student Senate meets Mondays from 2 to 2.30. Meetings are open to the public. For MC in Focus, I'm Graham Pearson. People have their own ways of honoring our heroes who have fought in wars. For former President George W. Bush, his way of honoring the soldiers is by getting in touch with his creative side. President George W. Bush just published a book that contains his own original paintings called Portraits of Courage. The Portraits of Courage is a collection of 66 paintings of veterans that he sent into war after 9-11. He not only painted the soldiers, but also fathers, mothers, friends, and immigrants who knew our former president, who knew our former president had a talent. Chance the Rapper is helping his community in a huge way. The Chicago native is donating one million dollars to Chicago public schools. In an interview earlier this week, Chance called his donation a call to action. The money is coming at a crucial time when the Chicago public schools have been struggling with funding for some time. The donated money will focus primarily on schools in lower income communities. Chance hopes to bring much needed art and music programs to children all over Chicago. The Tacoma Park and Silver Spring Student Senate will have their annual dodgeball tournament on March the 21st at 4 p.m. The event will be held at the Falcon Hall at the Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus. If you want to participate, please sign up online at the Montgomery College website or email Kimberly E. Herrera at montgomerycollege.edu. The Rockville Mayor and the Rockville County Council will recognize Montgomery College 70th anniversary on March the 13th at 7 p.m. at the Rockville City Hall. All campus administrators, faculty, and staff are invited to come support the college and celebrate the significant milestone. Montgomery College President Dirion Poller will host a series of dialogues with experts to provoke dialogue that is inclusive, intelligent, and civil. The first dialogue was held on Thursday, March the 9th, and there will be two more talks on March the 30th and on May the 8th. Thank you for tuning in to MC in Focus. I am Jasudian Cruz. And I'm Maxim Kurupchenko. And I'm Ashley Keith. Enjoy your spring break. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.